What's up guys, it's Sam's Thing here with another video today to talk about the 2018 Mustang. Now I'm gonna cover, go, I'm gonna go ahead and cover the drag mode and the quiet mode options. And this is actually something you can only get with an active exhaust. Uh, the quiet mode being quiet, normal, sport, and track. Track all open, however the quiet mode you can set what time it's gonna be active when you start the car up, all the way up from when well, whenever you want it to be turned off. Now this is a cool little feature if you're considered about your neighbors, but most people don't really care. Um, but this is so, gonna be one other thing you can possibly use to shut up a Chevy fanboy or a Dodge fanboy that Ford has an edge over another manufacturer. Now, I'm not saying this is what makes the car better than any Camaro or any Dodge or any whatever sports car may be out there, but it's definitely a new feature that is innovative and nice to see. Now we're going to move on to the drag mode aspect of thing. Now the Mustang GT and the Mustang EcoBoost is compatible with the drag mode, unlike the quiet mode with the Mustang GT, because why would an EcoBoost need a quiet mode unless you were planning to be the loudest fart canning embarrassment Mustang on your street, by all means go ahead, but you're not going to have a quiet mode. Now moving on to the drag mode once again. Now. Ford uses a technology similar to Dodge when they launched their vehicles because of the high horsepower and high torque. And this really helps out when you have a, well, not lower, but 460 horsepower car, 420 pound feet of torque, and you're putting it all to good use and it can lock up and just release it all at the right times. Now this acts for a really good launch and well, it's zero to 16 under four seconds, and we haven't actually seen quarter mile times, but based on from what we heard, they're supposed to be really good. But this is just one other thing that Dodge is, no, not Dodge, that Ford is doing better than everyone else right now. Now, I do understand this did come with Dodge, and Ford is not the per first person to do this. However, they did execute it in a very nice manner. Now, I think that the 2018 Mustang is very underrated as it is right now, but that is an opinionative kind of statement. But thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to see you soon.